Well, hello and welcome to the Universal College of Reflexology's Professional Training Overview. My name is Jack Marriott, and I'm the co-principal of the Universal College of Reflexology. And I want you to know that we're delighted you had a chance to join us today. I'll never forget while growing up how much my mum loved me to rub her feet. At the end, she always smiled and said a very meaningful, Thank you, Jack. That thank you stayed with me forever. And after her passing, those inspirational words motivated me to change my life and make a difference in other people's lives. The official term used to describe what we do is complementary and alternative medicine. It's known as CAM, C-A-M. Health and wellness is the fastest growing industry in the entire world, and CAM is its most rapidly growing segment, fueled by the aging demands of baby boomers. The statistics are astounding, and you will see for yourself that a career as a certified reflexologist makes more sense than ever before. As a certified reflexologist, nearly all of my clients are just like my mum, smiling warmly at me saying thank you for helping them with reflexology. What a magnificent career helping people to feel better. I hope you too can share in my mum's inspiration so that you can take that action step to a new career as a professionally certified reflexologist. Now it's my pleasure to introduce you to one of the most brilliant people I've ever had the opportunity of working with. She's a world authority on reflexology and an expert in creating cutting-edge reflexology training programs. Lauren Slade has been a certified master reflexologist for over three decades and she is a past president of the Reflexology Association of Canada. Lauren has successfully helped thousands of clients with a multitude of diseases to live a more abundant, happier, and healthier life. For the past 22 years, Lauren has devoted her full-time efforts to helping others become certified professional reflexologists. So, it's with great pleasure that I introduce you to Lauren Slade, my business partner and the person who inspires me to be the best that I can be every single day. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Jack. That was a wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. We have a, lots of information to cover in our webinar today, so I'll just get started here. We'll go through some of the things that we're going to be covering as we start our presentation. We're going to talk about who we are and why we do what we do. And then, why should you put reflexology on your radar? What's happening in this natural healing field? We'll let you know about that. And then, just as in many fields, reflexologists can specialize We'll give you some great ideas and places to start. The opportunities are endless. And we'll talk a little about reflexology earnings and the expanding job market. You might be surprised when you hear what the average earnings of a full-time reflexologist are. We'll give you the figures. Now, you might be wondering, could I become a reflexologist? What does it take to be a reflexologist? What are the basic requirements? Well, we'll cover that and let you know some of the professions that have come through our college to train as a reflexologist. They are very diverse. They range from an airline pilot to a school teacher, but they all have one thing in common. And why is reflexology growing in popularity? Why do people want to have a reflexology session? Who are the clients of reflexologists? Demand definitely outstrips supply. And how valid is reflexology? Is there any research? We'll give you some of the latest information that we have on that. And Jack mentioned complementary and alternative medicine, CAM. But did you know that CAM is a billion dollar market? Industry sales in 2002 were 200 billion. It is currently at 700 billion and rising. And why? 
because people are getting the results that they're looking for and they're willing to pay out of their own pocket to get those results. Now, as I said, reflexologists are in demand. We actually get calls here at the college all the time from people looking for a reflexologist in their area. And we are so disappointed that so many times we simply have to tell them that there are none. Reflexologists are really in demand and we have the clients waiting to fulfill those services. And let's talk a little bit about our training that we offer. Just to give you some background, our college was founded in September of 1991. Now the first national commercial online service to offer internet access to its subscribers opened up an email connection in July 1992 and the full internet service didn't arrive until November 1992. Our college is older than the internet as you know it. When we started, the only way that we could communicate with our students was by a letter and a stamp and by somebody coming along to the college, the physical college, and being able to speak to us. The days of emails and being able to direct people to a website simply did not exist. Hard to believe, isn't it? But our college has embraced this virtual classroom training and with schedules that we have today that are so busy, an online course is ideal. Our online training consists of a virtual classroom with state-of-the-art multimedia presentations which you can work around your own schedule. And UCR's proven professional reflexology program is powerful, easy to learn, easy to use and flexible. We've had hundreds and hundreds of students come through our program so that what we offer now is absolutely the peak of perfection in the training of reflexology available anywhere in the world. So let's start with who we are and why we do what we do. We are the Universal College of Reflexology, as we've said, established in 1991. And our mission is to provide the finest in professional reflexology training and certification to as many motivated people as possible and help change the world one pair of feet at a time. And the second part is that it's our mission to provide ongoing training and support for all of our graduates, which we do with our postgraduate training program, which is the only 12-month postgraduate online training program anywhere in the world. So this is me, Lauren Slade, and that was Jack that uh, introduced us. And we are very happy to be here talking about reflexology, which is an ancient natural healing method of helping the body to heal and we're offering today a great training opportunity so we'll keep going here and so why should you put reflexology on your radar well let me tell you that I've worked for over 30 years as a reflexologist and I have seen many miracles happen because of it I've worked on thousands of people in my reflexology clinic over the years and reflexology has succeeded after many more conventional therapies have not more than a few people came to me as a last resort, some with a whole range of unexplained symptoms that had baffled a whole host of specialist doctors. Others had exhausted all the 21st century medical options, drug, surgery, etc., and they were told that death was imminent. Many of those people, after receiving reflexology, went on to enjoy a healthy, fulfilled life, and some of them recovered 100%, while others just significantly improved enough to resume activities such as sports and work. Reflexology has the power to change lives for the better. And people who are looking for an alternative solution, when they find reflexology, know that this is something that can help them. So just as in many fields, reflexologists can specialize. There are many opportunities available to certified reflexologists. You can be in general practice. Lots of people are very happy to do that. Same as your medical doctor can just be in general practice. Or if you choose and you have a special interest in your heart then there are lots of areas where you can specialize for example if you like to work with babies and pregnant ladies then maternity reflexology baby reflexology if you have a family yourself and you're interested in working with other families then family reflexology if you love working with seniors then senior reflexology because seniors have a whole set of health issues that are just unique to them so specializing in that can be a very very worthwhile and satisfying career and then there's female health reflexology. 
There have been several of the students have decided for one reason or another that they wanted to set up a home-based clinic. And being women, they didn't want to invite just anybody into their home, so they decided to specialize in female health. They were able to help clients with fertility issues, perimenopause, hormonal problems, menopause, and specific women's health concerns in the comfort and safety of their own home. And male health, uh, spa reflexology, sports reflexology, golf, baseball, football. Uh, my uncle actually used to be a reflexologist to a football team in the UK. Um, tennis, cyclists, uh, runners, marathon runners. One of my clients was a marathon runner and we used to very specifically work on him and we were able to get him from 300th place in the London Marathon up to 50th place which is huge and we were working with him to be able to shave just seconds off of his time very specific very very rewarding and I would be with him working on him specific times before the marathon because when you're in a marathon you hit the wall at 21 miles and so we would work on him so that he, the reflexology would kick in for him when he was at the 21st mile. He didn't need the extra energy at the beginning, but he needed it at the 21st mile to help him finish off the marathon. And we were just getting to perfect that uh, technique when unfortunately I moved away. So, uh, but I heard he still went on to, to do great things. Back health, you can build an entire career about helping somebody relieve back pain. There is an epidemic of back pain uh, nowadays. So now having a practice specializing in that can be very lucrative and very busy. And then working with diabetic clients, they have a whole range of problems which can be very rewarding if you're able to help them alleviate some of their symptoms. And of course springtime, or depending where you are in the world, allergy relief. Allergies can be very, very disabling. And so I used to ha have an, an entire section of my practice built around allergy relief at certain times of the year with tremendous results. So you can specialize, you don't have just to be a general practitioner. You can specialize in a field that you love and combine your love of whatever it is plus reflexology. Now that's what I call a win-win situation. So now you've decided you're interested in learning reflexology, the next question is how much can you earn? This chart here, which was updated on the 30th of April 2012, gives an idea of how much earnings are across the United States. So let's just zoom in on that a little bit. This is zero, and then this is 100,000, this is uh, 80,000. So in Atlanta, which is the highest one, it's probably about 85,000. This is full-time, though. This is operating full-time practice. If you're only going to be doing it part-time, then obviously you need to reduce down the earnings significantly. In Orlando, you can see it's almost 60,000. In Miami, just about the same. Phoenix, slightly less. Uh, Chicago, up just about 60,000. And as I said, the number of hours that you work will prorate that out. Still not a bad salary. So what does it take to be a reflexologist? Some of the backgrounds that our students have had have been very diverse. Everything from a minister in the church, to a farmer, to a reporter, model, actor, chef, bus driver, police officer, nurses, registered and practical nurses, bank manager, soldier, doula or midwife or birthing specialist, nursing aides, postal workers, librarians, airline pilot, human resources, paramedic, flight attendants, firemen, holistic therapists, dental assistants, dietitians, government workers, school bus drivers, yoga instructors. Our students have covered a wide range of professions as they've come in to learn reflexology. The only proviso is that the age must be 18 or over. The oldest student we've ever had was 86 years old. She was a bit concerned she may not be able to do the course, but actually she finished top of the, that particular class that she was in. What do all these people have in common? They all love to help people. It's all about people helping people. So what's the most single important thing it takes to be a great reflexologist? What do you think is the single most important thing to be a great reflexologist? 
Well, it's an authentic passion to be a positive influence in helping people live a better and healthier life. That's what all great reflexologists have in common. Now, why do people want to have reflexology? Number one reason is because they want to relieve stress. And I couldn't help resist this little cartoon. I love it. There are only two times when I feel stress, at day and at night. And why do we feel stressed? Well, because we feel like we have the weight of the world on our shoulders. And this next picture, I can relate to it sometimes. I'm just a little stressed right now. Just turn around, leave quietly, and no one gets hurt. I just, somehow, I can really relate to that picture on some days. And just as a little aside, do you know what stressed is backwards? Stressed is desserts, spelt backwards. I just thought that was an interesting little thing, so I'd throw it in. Now, so many of us feel, as I said, as if they have the weight of the world on their shoulders, when this is how we really want to feel. Carefree, we want to feel freedom, we want to feel safe, secure, and at ease. And one of the reasons why we go to the doctor is because we're stressed. In fact, the American Institute of Stress says that 75 to 90 percent of doctor visits are related to stress. That is, the symptoms of the diseases and the illness that we create are caused by stress. So what are the symptoms of stress? Well, the physical symptoms of stress, we'll go through a list here, may surprise you. The physical symptoms of stress include ulcers, backaches, cancer, hypertension, colitis, obesity, a loss of appetite, stroke, shortness of breath, skin problems, muscle aches, frequent colds and illnesses, headaches, diabetes, chronic fatigue, heart disease, sleep disturbances, nausea, diarrhea, hardening of the arteries, sweating, allergies, teeth grinding, pounding heart. These are really the symptoms of stress, absolutely. And there's even more. Increased blood pressure, suppressed immune system, lowered blood supply to extremities, making poor circulation even worse, lowered absorption of the nutrient to the bowels, negative bowel functions including constipation, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting and irritable bowel syndrome. Disturbed sleeping patterns and insomnia, dry mouth, ulcers, lowered libido and sperm count in men, and a disturbed menstrual cycle. And I just want to stress this is a partial list of the physical symptoms of stress. Now there's also a whole range of psychological or emotional symptoms of stress. Prone to accidents, depression, irritability, easily discouraged, little joy in life, apathy, loneliness, fewer contacts with friends, negative attitudes, negative self-talk, poor concentration, anxiety, bad temper, worrying, difficulty making decisions, loss of direction, cynicism, intolerance, boredom and forgetfulness. No wonder we tend to feel and relate to this picture when all we want to do is feel like this. So the simple solution is stop the stress. How do you stop the stress? Reflexology. Reflexology is a stress reliever. Reflexology is a drugless, non-invasive, natural healing therapy that alleviates stress and releases built-up tension. It strengthens the immune system and harmonizes vital functions and promotes relaxation and a powerful sense of well-being. There's a whole set of relaxation techniques that we specifically teach in our reflexology class which will help even the most stressed person become relaxed in a very short period of time. Just for clarification, what is relaxation? picked up a couple of dictionary definitions here. The American Medical Dictionary says it's refreshment of body or mind. I love that one. Mosby's Medical Dictionary says it's a reducing of tension. And the Millikeen Encyclopedia and Dictionary of Medicine, Nursing and Allied Health says 
relaxation techniques methods used to promote lessening of tension, reduction of anxiety, and management of pain. That is what the reflexology relaxation techniques do. Now this is a picture of some of our students in the classroom and you can see I did a close-up here but these are students who are actually being worked on and as you could see they were really hard pushed to be able to even keep their eyes open even in the situation of being in a classroom and learning reflexology they couldn't keep their eyes open as soon as they had their feet being touched. And I just also want to say, in case you're thinking that it's all feet, it's not only feet that reflexology works on. We work on the hands, the ears, and the face. But the basic course that we start off with is the feet. Now, is there any research into reflexology? There was an article in the Alive magazine that was pain relief and reflexology research. And it said that there was an interesting study from Iran that looked at women who experienced chronic premenstrual cramps and were treated with reflexology. The women reported reflexology not only decreased pain, but was more effective than ibuprofen at minimizing chronic discomfort. An amazing outcome. And also, Korean researchers conducted a meta-analysis of 44 studies on reflexology, and they found that foot reflexology relieved chronic pain and had positive effects on fatigue and sleep. And then there's also some research on reflexology for symptom relief in patients with cancer. As a note, just let me comment that an average of 31% of UK United Kingdom patients with cancer use some form of complementary therapy to help them with their symptoms. In fact, many UK cancer centres and outpatient units and hospices are providing these complementary services. And they say that there is strong anecdotal evidence that reflexology assists in the palliation of physical and psychological symptoms of cancer patients. And then there was some research into whether reflexology could help headaches. The Royal Danish School of Pharmacy, in cooperation with five reflexology associations, conducted a research study on the effects of reflexology relieving headaches, and they used 220 patients in this study. The conclusion? 81% of patients confirmed that reflexology had either cured or helped their symptoms after three months. In fact, 19% of the patients reported they had been able to completely dispense with the medications they'd been taking before the study. Incredible results. Now, when we hear about studies like this, it says the reported results, and most of the studies, it's empirical or observed results. The patients report positive outcomes. They report that their medication, for example, is no longer needed. But how does reflexology actually work? In three separate studies in Hong Kong, researchers explored with functional MRI magnetic resonance imaging what happens in the brain when pressure or technique is applied to a specific reflex area on the left foot. Their findings? The specific parts of the brain activated by such work correlates with reflexology theory and intended use. And so let me just explain by this is a standard reflexology map. In fact, this is the one that we use here at the college. And each area on the foot correlates to an organ or part of the body. This red area here relates to the heart. This is a heart reflex. This green area here is the liver reflex. Yellow is kidney reflex. Small intestines down here. Red area here is the stomach reflex, spleen reflex. So every area in the body is reflected onto the feet. And what they found in this MRI is that when they stimulated certain areas of the feet, they could actually see on the MRI screen a correlating reaction in the brain. As I said, the study has found a direct correlation between pressure to a single reflex area of the foot and one of the brain's processing areas for pain, the insula. They found there was improved blood flow to the kidneys after reflexology was applied to the kidney reflex. There was improved blood flow to the intestines after the intestine reflex was stimulated. There were changes in the blood sugar levels when the pancreas was stimulated. And also there was a change in the heart function when the heart reflexes were stimulated. 
So science is now being able to prove what we reflexologists have known for years. They're now being able to actually see with the new equipment how pressing the reflex areas on various parts of the body does indeed have an effect on the function of the particular organ that's being stimulated and have specifically been able to measure the responses in the brain. That's why we say that reflexology is a science artfully applied. The artist is the reflexologist, and how they paint their picture, how they work on the feet, is as individual as every painting there is out there. So how many reflexologists are there? Well, the studies say there are between 20 and 25,000 reflexologists in the whole world. And to put that into perspective, in the United States alone, there are between 280 and 320,000 massage therapists and massage school students. So there being 20 to 25,000 reflexologists in the entire world goes to show what a shortfall we have here. And I should say that reflexologists have quite the advantage over massage therapists. Massage therapists have an average of a five-year burnout rate. They average of between four and five years in practice. And massage therapists are also typically prone to tendonitis of the muscles of the shoulders and the wrist, pain in the muscles that attach to the scapula, and low back pain. So is it the same for reflexologists? Do they suffer the same shoulder, low back pain, scapular problems that massage therapists do? The answer is no. Reflexology is much gentler on the practitioner because it's usually performed seated, whereas the massage practitioner is standing and moving around the body and sometimes doing quite strenuous manipulations in order to be able to massage their client. Now we're going to talk a little bit about complementary and alternative medicine. It's known as CAM, as Jack said in the introduction. This covers things like reflexology, massage, herbalism, aromatherapy, acupuncture, and also chiropractic. How big is the CAM market? Let me give you a few statistics here. 83 million adults spent $33.9 billion out of pocket on CAM complementary alternative medicine therapies in 2007. Complementary alternative medicine costs are 11.2% of total out-of-pocket expenses on health care. And 38% of adults reported using complementary and alternative medicine in the previous 12 months. Now, how many reflexologists did we say there were? Between 20 and 25,000 reflexologists worldwide. So are there too many therapists? Absolutely not. In the United States, as we said, there's between 280,000 and 320,000 massage therapists. So why would you want to become a certified reflexologist? Well, because you'd own your own business. You'd have the ability to work from home. It has very low or very little start-up costs. There's no inventory to pay out at the beginning. You can start part-time and work up into full-time. You can help the people you most care about. You can create your legacy and leave the world a better place because you were here. And you can earn what you are worth. The Universal College of Reflexology has over 21 years of experience training reflexologists just like you all over the world. We have students and alumni on six continents and islands, 40 countries, 10 Canadian provinces and 3 territories, and 35 of the United States. Proven teaching system. We have an online website that has PowerPoint presentations, manuals, videos to watch, quizzes, books, reference guides, maps, everything that you need to become a professional certified foot reflexology practitioner. We believe that we are changing the world one pair of feet at a time. Our training system is powerful, easy to learn, easy to use and flexible. So what's included in your tuition? Manual, PowerPoint presentation, teleseminars, videos, quizzes, bonuses, return to learning manual, quick start guide, reflexology foot chart, 
the lounge where you can chat with your fellow students around the world, Coach Jack coaching you along to help you be the best that you can possibly be, questions and answer sessions with students, and a gold embossed printed certificate. We look forward to being able to send you your very own gold embossed certificate for, as a professional foot reflexology practitioner as you go and change the world one pair of feet at a time.